We're at the dance school again and we're going to dress up for the wedding. Yeah, yeah I'm sold. You're sold. I'm sold. Pehli nazar mein kaise jadu kar diya I want a little doll of you that looks like this that I can just have all the time. You're so cute. <laughs> back today to the dance school and we've been fitted out with some beautiful saris for the wedding and I'm so excited. I can't wait to go to the Indian wedding! Baby I love you Baby I love you Baby I love you wondering if our saris were okay you know I felt yeah, like I totally know. overdressed I felt so overdressed yeah but yeah. when we went there it was overwhelming like all the colors and oh, everything that they wear it was beautiful mm -hmm. really. mm -hmm. and I loved the amount of rituals that happened during that service it was all very ritualistic mm -hmm. and it seemed so traditional and old because like I'm sure all of these rituals that they were doing have been traditions for hundreds and maybe even thousands yeah. of years so I felt so honored to see that and to even be a part of it. I think because it's such a like huge cultural experience and it's something I've never had the opportunity to experience before. So my heart was just pitter-pattering the whole way there. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't want to offend anyone by like doing the wrong thing at the wrong time or whatever. And then we get there and there's this intense ritual going on with like dough flying all over the place and like a guy dressed up like an Arabian sheik. He almost looked like a prince, like the groom looked like a prince to me mm -hmm. that day. He looks so nervous. Yes. Yeah. He, uh, he got pulled out of the car and then he had to kneel down and there was a lot of business going on with flowers and rice and leaves. And we just all stood and watched it like none of us had any sort of a clue of what was going on, but we were all so fascinated by it. The, the spectacle of this is absolutely incredible. Um, I love the colors and yeah, it's a humble setting, but it is still probably one of the most visually appealing things I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look in the city, he drives a dust, spoon or a fork, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 This looks incredible. Wait, so we're so eating with our hands? hands? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hands I'm gonna be so dirty. Ah! <laughs> Today has been so great. I love this wedding. It's so, there's so many rituals that they have. I've never seen so many rituals at a wedding. I feel like I've learned so much about Indian culture just now. It's awesome. Um, no, today has been absolutely incredible. Uh, it's been a real highlight for me. Um, I was actually looking forward to the Indian wedding uh, when I was looking at my schedule before I came. And it's just amazing here. The colour scheme, um, all the people dressed up, and I love wearing the sari. It's, um, it's been a real treat today. I learnt that a ceremony goes on for three days. Uh, it traditionally starts on the Friday and goes through to the Sunday and apparently there's ceremonies that take place at the bride's house and at the groom's house and I also learnt that the mother-in-law 
uh, traditionally will sleep between the bride and groom so that they don't have sex before the wedding. So I thought that was quite funny. Um, apparently there's some very dirty jokes that go with that. I learnt that it's not strange for a man to have his fingernails and toenails painted red. It's actually with good reason. And the red is a sign of victory. So it's like it, it's a celebration of his love and triumphing over a woman. I also learned that there are three outfit changes that the bride has on the, 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 the Sunday of the wedding. So she has one sari and then she'll have another sari and the colours represent different things. And then finally she gets changed into the wedding dress and the groom has two outfit changes and he wears the traditional dress which I saw him in and then he'll get changed into his suit and hopefully remove the red nails. Right, so he is sure, but let us see if she is sure. So Dina, you like to know? And Muki Karan, if this is the young man you would like to spend the rest of your life with? Yes. Oh, okay. Jai Se Guru, Jai Se Chela. Is what she said, ah, yes, like she real sure. So, without further ado, as we continue in Pushan. Today I learned a new fun fact about myself. That I am obsessed with Indian weddings! Oh my god, today was so awesome. I had no idea what to expect. Actually, I don't normally get nervous, and I haven't been nervous about anything during this entire trip through Trinidad and Tobago, but today I got intensely nervous when we were walking into the ceremony. I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know if I was going to stick out like a sore thumb, and I was wearing this beautiful dress, which is so awesome, but also something I'm not accustomed to. So I was so nervous, and then I walked in and I saw this beautiful ceremony going on and all of these people were smiling at me and I felt so welcomed into the ceremony and just so awestruck by how gorgeous it was. It was a phenomenal experience and I really enjoyed how many rituals were used in the ceremony. It was a very intricate process, the process of them getting married. It took hours and hours, but it was also beautiful that it was totally worth watching. And also it was really cool because it really showed the history of their religion. So I think I learned a little bit about Indian people. I definitely learned about Indian food. And I definitely learned about fun. <laughs> so yay, Indian weddings, hooray!